Hey there, Mozarts! It's me, Miss Crossin. I miss you guys so much, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying well with your families and having a good time staying at home. All right, so today we are going to be talking about something really exciting. We're going to be talking about the notes that go with the song See a Little Panda and how they work on our staff. Right, remember, do you remember how these five lines go? Remember this guy? Very good, so we're gonna be talking about this and how it all works together so that while you're playing your violin, it's gonna to make tons of sense on how all the notes work in music and in See a Little Panda. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna play See a Little Panda because I wanna make sure that you guys remember how it goes and how it sounds and what notes, start thinking about what notes are we actually playing while we're playing this song in particular. So let's all go grab our violins. I have Taco here to join us today for our playing session. So let's all get our violins, start with playing position, get your violins up. Make sure your bow goes on. What string is it? Do we start on for see a little panda? Ah, uh, that's correct. It is the A string. So we're going to put our bows on the A string. Make sure that your left hand goes all the way back to the nut. And we are going to play through see a little panda one time. So one time all the way up and one time all the way down. And then we are going to stop and we're going to talk about how the notes that we played on our violin work on those lines back there. All right, are you ready? Here we go, Mozart. One, two, ready and play. <laughs> it sounded awesome very good all right go ahead and put your violin down now we're going to start thinking about how those notes that we just played on your violin work with these lines and spaces and these notes that work on our musical staff up here all right so before we begin i would like to review and remind you guys of the musical notes in the scale so do you guys remember the musical notes that go in the scale and that go in our alphabet and more specifically, what note do we start with? Do you remember? Hmm, very good. It is the note C, or remember the note Do. So our C note starts at the top because remember we have our music as a circle because it all comes back. So we start with our C note, then we go to D, E, F, G, and then after G, remember we do not have an H note, but we go to the note a, very good, correct, A, B, and then all the way circled back to our note, C. Very good, so these are our notes of our musical alphabet. Now let's see, how do they work with the song, See a Little Panda? Now, before we get there, we have to remember, where do all the notes go on the staff, right? Because we haven't talked about this in a little while. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of do a little review of just our staff and how all of our notes kind of work on these lines. Cause I know it can be a little bit, a lot when we, especially when we haven't seen it in a long time, right? So first things first, do you guys remember what this guy is called? Very good, that is called our treble clef or our G clef, excellent job, excellent remembering skills. So that our treble clef and our G clef makes tells us that we are in the right clef for violin and we are ready to start reading our music. Okay, so when we have our notes, we have two different kinds of notes. We have our line notes and we have our space notes, right? So the first one we're gonna start with and we're gonna start reviewing is our space notes because that one's a little bit easier to remember, right? Okay, so when we start with our space notes, remember they go in between the lines and they fit in the spaces in between the lines of the staff, right? Okay, and we have one, two, three, and four line notes, okay? So let's start from our bottom. I'm gonna make our little note heads so we can see where our notes are gonna go. All right, we're gonna stop from the very bottom. And remember, I 
gave you guys some helpful tip on some way to remember how to say and how to remember our space notes. What is that? Very good, it's face. It's smart, it rhymes with space, so we have our face notes. So we start with our letter F down here at the bottom. F, we go up to A, we go up to C, and we have E here up at the top. Very good. All right, now let's jump over to our line notes. Our line notes are a little bit harder to understand or a little bit harder to remember just because it's kind of a funny phrase, but you guys did a really good job, I remember, of coming up with some creative ways of remembering them. So I think the way in particular that we talked about them was we said, every good boy deserves fudge, right? Every good boy deserves fudge. Can you say that for me? Every good boy deserves fudge. Very good. All right, so remember, we're gonna start from the very bottom. We're gonna start with our E note for every. So E, good, Ryan starts with our letter of G. Very good. Then we go up to boy, which starts with the letter B. Then go up to deserves, which is gonna be the letter D. And then we end up with our final note at the very top, which is our letter for fudge, also known as the note F. Every good boy deserves fudge. Every good boy does fine. All different kinds of really fun little things you can say for that one. All right, so now specifically what we're gonna talk about are how these notes right here fit in the notes for the song, See a Little Panda, okay? So when we're talking about See a Little Panda, remind me one more time, what string do we start on for See a Little Panda? Because that's gonna give us the first note for our song. What note is it? Very good, it's our note A or our open A string. So our open A string, I'm gonna put it as this little color right here. So our first note is gonna be this kind of purplish, light purplish color, and it's gonna be our note A. I hope you guys can see that okay. All right, now, our next note that we're going to go for, and let's first talk about, when we start with talking about see a little panda notes, I wanna talk about the direction of the way the music goes. So I'm actually gonna sit down really quick, and we're gonna talk about how our finger pattern works on our violin, and then how that works up there. It's gonna make a little bit more sense. All right, so when we play See a Little Panda, we start with our A string, right? Then we put our first finger down on our A string, which creates the next note in the musical scale, right? Right, and what note comes after A in the musical scale? Correct, that would be the B note. So our first finger on our A string is our note B. Very good. So our B note is gonna be this nice color of blue. All right. So we have A, open A. Then we have our first finger down, which is our B note. Then we put down our second finger, right? What note comes after B in the musical scale. What note is that again? Ooh, very good, that is C, the note C. And actually it's known as a C sharp. So we're gonna talk about what C sharp means later, but for now, what I want you to understand is just this, this is our note C. So we have A, B, C, and then our very final note that we have in the song, See a Little Panda, that's a new note, is going to be our third finger down on our A string. So we have A, B, C, then what comes after C? Very good, the note D. Very good, so we're gonna play our D with our third finger, then we're gonna come back down with our C on our second finger, our C sharp, I should say. Then we're going to have our first finger down, this is going to be our B note, and then we finish off with our A string. So we have A, B, C, D, then D, C, B, A. Now 
of course, that's not how the song goes, right? Because we've changed the rhythm a little bit, but those are the essential notes and those are the only notes that we will be playing when we're talking about See a Little Panda. Okay, so now let's take those notes that we just talked about, open, one, two, three, three, two, one, open, and we're going to transfer that into that. Here we go. So, taco, gonna sit back down, thank you. All right, so now, we have our A note, our B note. Now we have our C note. Very good. Good for remembering skills. Now I gotta find my color. So our C note's gonna be a nice little red color. And then remember what was that final note that we did at the very end? It was the excellent, it was the D note. And that's gonna be our third finger that we played with. And in fact, I'm gonna write the numbers of our fingers so that we don't get them mixed up. I'm gonna do this in a black color so you can see a little easier. So our open A string, remember we play with our, haha, very good, we play with no fingers. All right, then our B note, we play with our first finger, good. Then second finger, then third finger, right? Very good, all right, so now let's move on. When we play the notes of See a Little Panda, now we have to talk about how these notes go on the staff. So when we have our A note, do you remember where the A note lives on the staff? Is it a line note or a space note? It is a space note, correct. And it is specifically, it is the one, two, the second space note. Remember, because we spell F-A-C-E, so that means A is our second space note note for our song. So we're gonna start with our note A. So C up to our B note. And our B note, remember, comes right after because it's our first finger down on our A string. So it's gonna be the note that comes directly after A. It's going to be our B note, which is specifically the third line of our line notes. Very good. So, lining up the ladder. Very good. All right, then we have what comes after the note B. Then we have C, very good. We have C coming up. Here we go, and our C note is in our what space? Our third space. Climbing up so high to. And then, I know, Miss Julia's singing skills are really nice today. And then we have our, at the very top, our nice D note. Eat the yummy bamboo. Right, all the way up here. And then when we come back down, we just say on D, see a little panda. Then we come back down to C, climbing down the ladder. And then we go back to first finger, which is our fur, I'm um, sorry. What did it do? Ah, Miss Crossing made a mistake. See, this is what happens, guys, when you don't pay attention to everything that you are writing. All right, hold on a second. Let me rewrite our thing in. Okay, so start with our D note, then our C note, and specifically, my mistake, my biggest mistake that I made in that was I was not specific enough about what space do we stay in for our C note. Remember, it is our third space. So remember, we wanna make sure that goes in our third space, and then we won't make those silly mistakes like Miss Crossing, and we don't put it on our lines. All right, very good, and good for you, those who called me out on it before I even noticed it. All right, so then we have our B note, which is going to be our first finger on our A string, and then we end at the very end of our song with our open A string. All right, so there we have it. We have our see a little panda climbing up the ladder, climbing up so high to eat the yummy bamboo, and then all the way back down. D, C, B, A. And how that works on our violin, remember? We play with our open A. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Back down, third finger, second finger, first finger, and back 
to our open A. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I hope it makes sense. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions or concerns about the lesson, and I would be happy to clarify. Mozarts, take care. Until I see you next time, I hope you guys stay safe, have fun, and learn a lot of violin. I'm expecting big things when I get back. All right, practice hard, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.